Philippe, you want to take the next one? Yes, the next question is running a stake pool profitable. We can maybe start with Chris or you guys can do popcorn for this. It is profitable. Uh, I would say uh, roughly double the profit from just staking to an average pool. Uh, a lot, not a lot of overhead costs or uh, there's not a lot of power costs, I guess. I mean, it's probably $200 a year. Uh, and, and I mean, my pool is only 4%. So, you know, which I feel like, you know, maybe is under, you know, slightly underpriced, you know, I think, uh, watching some of the other pools like yours, Rick, was 6%, right? Uh, yeah, six and five. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that I, th I feel like that might be the sweet spot. Six, six, you know, maybe five to 8% someone somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you know, possible. all bets are off mainnet when the exchanges, you know, the whale pools get involved. But yeah, you know, right now it you well, know well, a four I mean, percent. I think, pool I think we're profit. seeing some of that. Yeah, I think we're seeing some of that whale action kind of maybe play itself out with some of the IOHK pools. So maybe exactly. that can kind of give us a little idea and that's not how oh, that's going to play out. Yeah, the I got to biggest... be honest. With you. Good, Mark. Sorry. The biggest advantage of the incentivized testnet is relatively low participation at somewhere of 30% of stake. So the, 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 reward, the rewards are high as of now. That's right. I think it's the wild, wild west right now. We have like 14, 15% just for delegating and uh, uh, pool uh, fees are amazing. Uh, I wish there was more pool operators getting involved in the system because there's still uh, a lot of room to grow and it's still um it's very sustainable to have uh, support the running costs at the current level yeah and you, you know it's interesting i would bet you know the pool one pct i bet those are professional miners i bet they're pros i don't <laughs> because they went straight for the jugular they went straight to one percent and the protocol allows it and they made as many pools as possible and they're probably making a profit i mean i don't know but they're if you look at how much stake they drew in they're probably doing okay and and there's they i don't know who they are i don't know them but as soon as i saw that happen i was like well the pros are here the pros showed up <laughs> i'm guessing <laughs> but i'm probably not wrong uh, if i can <laughs> add one more thing to that is that uh, when you uh, do the calculations you should do running costs but also the hardware costs and you have to ask yourself do you want uh, uh, quality hardware running these pools. Uh, for now, maybe it doesn't matter so much, but when we get smart contracts, when we need the throughput, maybe it will matter more. Yeah. You also got to take into account bandwidth, depending on what your, your internet, you know, how you connect to the internet. That's also a cost. It's an operating cost. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I already bought the server. I bought a professional network card now. Uh, I'm looking into maybe doing more uh, dedicated fiber line or, but it will see. Uh, for me, it's just for fun right now. Uh, mm. Yeah. My yeah. total setup costs, I'm still in the red. When? Well, <laughs> would you, would you really, uh, 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 I mean, would you expect appreciation on, on the asset that you are supposed to write off over a period of three years uh, to pay for itself in less than a month? That's right. <laughs> no, of course not. So yeah. there you have the answer to the question, right? So you take the capital expenditure for the hardware and depreciate it over three years. I mean, those who That's... went with the hardware solution, those are in a red, unless they went with the with the RPI or with the with the rock pie. Right. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah for me, I didn't time. really want to. So I got. Yeah. For me, I didn't want to really entertain a local. Uh... Uh, hardware redundancy issue, so I'm kind of using cloud services, and I've got costs under 150 a year. Wow, nice. including bandwidth. Right now, yeah. If the provider changes, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So far, so good. Uh, that may change, but hopefully, um, it'll be a little bit more profitable when it does. 